Welcome to Tax Central. In this video we will understand 26AS statement and how to download 26AS from new e-filing portal. Let's understand 26AS first. Form 26AS is a consolidated annual tax statement that shows the details of tax deducted at source, tax collected at source, advance tax paid by the assessee along with self-assessment tax. This information is specific to a permanent account number. The form also shows details of sale or purchase of immovable property, mutual funds, cash deposits, or withdrawal from savings account etc. An assessee can claim the tax deducted reflecting in their Form 26 AS while filing their income tax return for a financial year. Let's break down the components of Form 26 AS. Part A Details of tax deducted at source. This part shows the tax deducted by tax deductor for your PAN. The tax deductor files their TDS return on a quarterly basis post, which it will reflect in Form 26 AS. Part A1 Details of tax deducted at source for Form 15G or Form 15H. This part contains details of income on which no TDS has been deducted as the taxpayer has submitted Form 15G or 15H. If you have not submitted Form 15G or Form 15H, this section will display no transactions present. Part A2 Details of tax deducted on sale of an immovable property This part contains details of tax deducted on immovable property, if any, sold by the SSC during the financial year. If there is a sale of an immovable property during the previous year, and the buyer has deducted tax on the proceeds of sale, the tax deducted will be reflected in this section. Part B. Details of tax collected at source. This part contains details of tax collected at source, TCS, by a seller of specified goods at the time these goods have been purchased by the SSE. Part C. Details of tax deducted, other than TDS and TCS. This part shows the details of tax paid by the SSE such as advance tax, self-assessment tax, and the challenge details through which the payment has been made. Part D. Details of refund paid. This part reflects the details of tax refunded by the department to the SSE. Part E. Details of SFT transaction. This part shows the details of any high-value transactions which specified persons like a banking company, mutual funds etc. are required to report. The SFT was earlier known as Annual Information Return. Part F. Details of tax deducted on sale of immovable property under Section 194IA for buyer. This part will show details of any TDS deducted by you while buying a property. Also, it displays TDS deposited by you to the bank. Part G TDS defaults, processing of defaults. Defaults relating to the processing of statements are mentioned here. They do not include demands raised by assessing officers. Now let's see how can you download 26 AS from Traces. First of all, open new e-filing portal income tax.gov.in. Then login. After login go to e-file section and click on view form 26 AS. Then you will be redirected to Trace's website click confirm. On Trace's website, a pop-up will appear click to agree and proceed. Then click this hyperlink view tax credit. Now select the assessment year for which 26 AS is required. Assessment year 2021 to 22 is for financial year 2020 to 21. Then select View as HTML and click on View or Download. After that click on Export button. Your file will be downloaded in PDF format. And you will be able to see details of TDS deducted if any. Similarly, if you have online banking, you can download 26AS via net banking also. We will download 26AS from SBI, as we have net banking of SBI. Other banks also have almost similar process. Log into SBI Net Banking. Then go to eServices and click on View Tax Credit Statement.
Then click on Submit and Confirm. You will be redirected to Trace's website. Then you can follow the same process as we showed you earlier. That's how you can download 26AS from new e-filing portal and online banking. Thanks for watching. Like if you find our video useful and subscribe for more video like this.